All right, so I picked up a couple items on eBay, a, a vintage watch and a vintage compass from the Korean War. The goal was to see if uh, whoever sends them would know that they're possibly radioactive and test for them because when you send stuff through to U.S. Post Office, you can only have a max of 0.5 milliamps per hour or 5 micro sieverts per hour and that's at all times and then it must be marked of course these weren't marked so how i got into doing this was i bought this gmc 600 plus geiger counter yeah to help find say uranium glass and that at antique stores and i have been finding all kinds of stuff that's radioactive what i'm gonna do is turn this on get this one out of here for now and show you uh point one zero is background radiation of your house and this thing in the package is 42, say 43 micro sieverts. What's that? 430 times the radiation of your house. And what we're going to do is open this up. I'll show you this thing. They wrapped it pretty good. Nothing in the bottom. It's just a rather small compass too, so I knew it was going to be hot. And it doesn't even hardly look like it was ever even used. Literally looks brand new. I think it says 1953 on it. That's pretty hot. We'll take this plastic cover off. And there's the compass. And there's the radium that's painted on there. It's a golden color. Of course, the uh, glow is gone. And the phosphor wears off. But anything glowing there is radium. It actually works good. Let's hit it with this. That was incredibly hot. That's probably the hottest thing that I have. 190. And that's with the cover on it, the plastic cover. Imagine what it would be if you took it off. There's 191, 192. I am over 200 micro sieverts. 201, 2. I'll let this go a little bit. I'm going to see if I can't get it up to 100,000 clicks per minute. No, I don't think I'm going. I'm at 97,822. Alright, that was wicked hot. Pressed. So anybody out there, if you're collecting any kind of uh, radioactive stuff, I do have another compass coming. A regular leave one that they used in World War II, U.S. Army. But this is a little wrist one. Holy cow, is that hot. That's going to go in my lead box I built, which I'll show you that. So anyways, you won't want to be right by it all the time not worried about any of the radium getting on me because it's sealed up pretty good this is the other one and this is a watch i don't remember what one it is and remember 0.5 milliram per hour to uh ship it and you're up to over two This, of course, I don't think is going to be anywhere near as hot as the um, compass. I don't know how they packaged it. Oh, this is a West Clock pocket bin. So. I was curious how much radiation these give off. We're going to find out. 
It'll give a lot more with the cover off, I guarantee you that. Now this isn't really that hot. It's pretty hot. I mean, you're talking 10, 300 times background radiation to the house. But that compass is a couple thousand. If you're looking for uh, radioactive material or antiques, these are kind of hot, but not super hot. I've got uh, pocket watches that are way hotter than them and smaller. So let me get it set up. I'll show you. I built this box out of pine boards in lead. I'm going to put a separate video up on it. Burnt in some uh, stuff into it. But what I want to do is show you. Pocket man, you're talking very well, 34, 35. USV or 15,000 clicks per minute. Get this over here, even it starts getting hot. Here is a piece of uranium ore that I got from United Nuclear. That's the only uranium on it, right there. That uh, compass is hotter than this. And this was hot. Yeah, this little watch here, which I'm not sure what it is. This is a little tiny West Clocks. West Clock. It's hotter than that pocket then. This one here, I got a watch because the cover came off. I'll be washing my hands after that. The glass cover on it. It's about as hot as the pocket bed. Maybe a little bit less. Here's some uh, dials in that, in a big bed front. Pretty neat. You can imagine how hot this would be if I took that plastic off this thing. Wicked. Put a separate video up on that, but it's nice. Then I can lock it. There you go. Korean War era compass. Extremely hot.